Hello students, I am Vikas. I welcome you all to this video of Web Technologies. Let's understand what are the objectives of this course. The main objective of this course is to teach you all the concepts of JavaScript and the HTML tags, CSS concepts, bootstrap components to develop wonderful web pages. The aim of this course is to integrate front end web development with back end web development. On the back end, we have server side programming which deals with Node.js, Express.js and at the back end, we deal with NoSQL database. The NoSQL database we are using for this curriculum is MongoDB. By the end of the course, you will have learned how to apply JavaScript concepts. You will have learned to validate a form. You will be able to create a beautiful registration form using HTML, CSS and bootstrap frameworks. And also, you will have good knowledge on Node.js and Express.js. And you will be able to integrate MongoDB with Node.js and you will be able to interact with MongoDB through a client-side website. So these are the course objectives and course outcomes of our curriculum. Let's start with Unit 1. In Unit 1, we will be dealing with HTML common tags later we will deal with lists, tables, images, forms and later we will be working with CSS using bootstrap framework. And since we have learned bootstrap framework, we will again go through bootstrap tags that involves tables, images, forms, grids. And at the end, we will be working with navbar, card, batch, buttons and Pagination. So let's start with the origins of World Wide Web. Tim Berners Lee, he is a British scientist who has invented World Wide Web in the year of 1989. At that time, he was working as a contract employee at CERN, Geneva. He is also involved in, uh, uh, he also made his share of contributions in the area of URI and server side programming. Now, why HTML? When we talk about web technologies, why do we need HTML? As you can see, HTML is a foundation to web pages. HTML code makes sure that the text the media and other properties on a website are formatted properly and they are human interactable. And without HTML, a browser would not be able to understand what text or what contents need to be displayed on the website. So let's understand what HTML is. HTML. As you can see, it is a short form to a hypertext markup language. What is hyper? Let's break down HTML. So let's try to understand what H is. H stands for hyper. Now, HTML has good resource wherein we can place hyperlinks and links to our diff other pages on our code. So that is hyper. Then text, we can also embed text in on our web pages. Later, markup. Now, this markup language, markup means predefined marked. There are specific elements that perform specific operations for various activities on web pages. Like, if you want uh, an image to be displayed, there is a specific markup language that allows an image to be displayed. 
like that for every specific element we have a markup or predefined tags in html later language now markup language you can call it together because language as you know is used to communicate so this is the story behind the html now what are the versions of html starting in the year of 1991 html html has gone through a lot of version updates in 1991 it had the ability to accompany links to other pages using href href is a tag specifically used for hyperlink re reference where we can navigate ourselves to a another link or another page there are many updates and one specific update is one specific update that has happened is in the year of 1999 where style sheets were introduced we are going to learn in the coming videos what are style sheets style sheets tables forms frames all the better version of these elements have been introduced in 1999 then later in 2014 we have html5 and since 2014 we've been using html5 and what what improvements made in html5 are more user interactivity and less overhead problems on devices so basically html5 html5 has reduced the burden on devices so these are the various html versions now let's look at the architecture of how a web browser works a browser is generally a website which is visible to the client or the user so the user interacts with the browser and browser through the internet interacts with the google servers in this case we have taken google web page and google servers as an example so what are browsers what are web browsers so as you know we've been using the term browser for a very long time now web browser in fact the browser the term browser originated prior to web as a generic term used to search things the main purpose of internet browser is to translate the code of html to a human understandable text not only text the browser translates the computer code to text graphics and other features which makes the user to interact or retrieve the data or write the data very easy so what is html we have so far we have seen why html we have seen what are web browsers now we'll see what is html as we know html is known as hypertext markup language and it is used to create web pages using html we can create web pages that accommodate graphics other media contents like video and sound now the essence of html what makes html as html is its tags the essence of html programming is tags now what are tags tags are text enclosed in angular brackets there are opening brackets or opening tags and closing tags we will learn about tags in the coming slides so basically the activity we want to happen on the website that is embedded as a text between those angular brackets so as we already like i said the opening and closing tags use the same command except the closing tag contains a slash an opening tag has angular brackets and the closing tag has angular brackets along with text but we also have a slash that indicates it's the close it's it you know it's closed i have used an example capital b refers to 
bold okay so now this text within close and opening tag warning will be shown as a bold text on a web page nested tags if there are tags within tags they are called nested tags here in this case uh, i have i want to have a list of headings so i have used h1 tag as well as l tag let's understand the structure of a web page the structure of a web page typically has the html opening text and closing text then we have head so in this video we will conclude by talking about head and in the coming videos we will talk more about other tags you can basically break down the html structure into two parts that is the head part and the body part the title tag title tag is the more very significant and more crucial tag within the head tag and in fact the text written within the title tag is the only thing that is visible on our web page so the text written between the title tags is the document name that is visible on the tab thank you